With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that a particle moves in a circular path such that its speed V varies with uh, distance. So V is equal to alpha into root S where alpha is a positive constant. Find the acceleration of the particle after transversing a distance of s so basically one thing you must know firstly we have to draw the diagram for it so basically a, a body is there which is undergoing circular motion okay let's suppose this is the body okay it is undergoing circular motion so basically what are the force uh, acceleration on it acceleration will be firstly this accelerates centripetal acceleration and there will also be a tangential acceleration in this case because over here the velocity is increasing okay so now what we have to do is that we have to find out so basically if we uh, write down about acceleration, acceleration is basically dv upon dt, okay. So this will be d into alpha and basically this t is what? Alpha into root s. So basically it is given in terms of s, okay. So we'll find out in terms of s only. So a is equal to v dv upon ds, okay. So this is the formula for, the, for finding it, okay. This will be equal to what if we write down dv upon ds, a will be equal to v into what is dv basically alpha into uh, root s. Okay, so alpha into root s. So alpha will come out and root s will remain. Okay, so it will be uh, basically d root s upon ds. Okay, this will give us this is basically tangential acceleration. Okay, so this will give us what v into alpha and s to the power basically since this is root s so this will be by root s okay so now what we'll do now we'll find out the centripetal acceleration which is equal to mv square upon r okay so basically mv square upon r will be equal to what this will be equal to m okay and basically not mv square basically it will be v square upon r because centripetal force is basically mv square by r so this will be v square by r so v is what alpha into root s square divided by r or you can say the uh, display uh, or the radius okay so we'll just write it as r okay so this will be equal to what this will give us alpha square s divided by r okay we have everything now one thing we uh, one, only one thing we don't have is that what is the velocity after time s okay so if we uh, use this formula okay v is equal to alpha into root s okay so we can we can do it okay how basically we can just write a t okay a t tangential acceleration is equal to v into alpha by root s okay and we can write that v is what v is basically alpha into root s okay so this will be what alpha into root s and this will be alpha divided by root s okay and there will be one more thing in this differentiation basically okay this will there will also be a half added over here okay so over here what will come alpha square divided by 2 okay so now what we'll do if you see properly the net acceleration is given by what under root of a t square plus a c square okay because they are uh, perpendicular to each other so this will be under root of alpha square by 2 squared again okay plus alpha square s by r whole square okay so acceleration will come out to be what alpha will come out and inside there will be 1 by 4 okay basically we have to see check according to the option so basically alpha we can bring it out basically alpha square will come out okay and what will come out uh, basically this will be 1 by 4 plus and this will be alpha is out so this will be s square divided by r square okay so this is our final answer so we'll check which of the options is correct so we can clearly see option c is the correct match to our answer okay not option c basically since there is no alpha square it is option a which is the correct match to our answer got it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today